two great niche quality juices from an exciting new house here in the UAE, Oud of Dubai and Oud of Abu Dhabi. Let's talk about them. Hello people, my name is Nixon Dice and you are watching Smelly Cat. Today's video is about a Dubai based house called So Musky. I got my hands on two of their fragrances, Oud of Dubai and Oud of Abu Dhabi. Uh, they actually have quite a lot of French inspired fragrances uh, in their collection but uh, recently they came up with uh, two amazing scents. Uh, the others are pretty good as well but my pick are the more Emirati local influence scent Oud of Abu Dhabi and Oud of Dubai which I'll be talking about in today's video. I genuinely love brands that want to tell a story, are inspired by local culture, heritage, travel and stuff like that because it's a lot like me and I was lucky enough to uh, meet the the nose behind these two scents. His name is Sultan. Sultan, if you're watching this, hello. Uh, I actually met up with him. I asked if I could meet him uh, when I got these uh, just to see what the story behind these scents are. And he said, yeah, sure, come along. We met at the mall. Uh, I thought it was going to be a 10 minute conversation, which believe me, turned into like a two hour conversation uh, just because he had the background of traveling to India, traveling to certain places that I have traveled as well. So I could really relate to uh, his story of being influenced by certain scents or trying to come up with a scent that he uh, probably came across somewhere in his travels. Because that's what I do as well. Wherever I travel in the world, whichever city I go to, and I try going to at least five or six new cities every year. Um, unfortunately, not this year, you know why. Uh, but whenever I do that, I try finding local perfumeries, uh, smaller local shops and the scents you get there are just amazing. Like I remember this one story, there's this crazy old man uh, right under the Prague castle with this hole in the wall sort of shop called Castle Perfumes uh, and he had this uh, one fragrance tied to a little rope so that no one steals it on a little barrel outside his shop and when I was going up the stairs I just picked it up and sprayed one on my gloves because it was very cold uh, and on the first blast I really didn't like it uh, but that scent stayed with me all day long on my gloves I could smell it um, over what I was wearing and I'm, I'm sure I was wearing something pretty strong for the winter but that is all I got it was a citrus based scent it's something that I had not smelled anywhere. I actually uh, the next day went back and bought a couple of scents from him. Uh, he made like a bespoke uh, customized scent to my liking. Amazing experience. The other one I can remember is uh, visiting a 600 year old 600 year old perfumery in uh, Florence. I could go on and on talking about these uh, but that's a topic for another day. Let's start by talking about Oud of Abu Dhabi. This scent is uh, according to him inspired by like a traditional wedding or a royal affair. So think of an evening celebration like an Arabian evening celebration of some sort. The bottle and packaging on the other hand is inspired by the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque in Abu Dhabi. Uh, you know that beautiful floral mosaic that you find inside, that's what this draws its inspiration from. But don't let that fool you because this scent is anything but floral or delicate in any way. This is an in your face oud fragrance, extremely barnyardish, animalic, scary and dark in the opening. So don't make the mistake of spraying this and directly sniffing it off your hand. Uh, you will be knocked out. Give it some time and it actually turns into something very beautiful. Even changing uh, every hour or so. It opens up with uh, some oud and spices and a bit of saffron that sort of tries to tame that oud down a bit. Then I start noticing uh, a bit of rose or some other floral notes that quickly turns like a sweet honey-like ambery feel. It then dries down to a very spicy, leathery, ambery scent uh, while still retaining some of that animalic musk and woodiness from the oud. If there's one thing I would like to be added to this is a little more vetiver. I sense that there's vetiver in it, but I think a little more vetiver would be uh, up to my liking. I mean, that's a personal choice. 
but I think most people will like it the way it is. Longevity and projection on this one is extremely potent. So I would say go easy on the trigger, especially for the kind of scent that it is. Also, I would say that this one would do much better in the colder weathers. Uh, if you want me to compare it to any scent, I mean, it's not directly like any scent, but if you like stuff like uh, Christian Dior's Leather Oud or Oud 27 by Le Labo, then you will uh, you'll enjoy this one. Now coming to Oud of Dubai. While Oud of Abu Dhabi, you can say is in line with the heritage of the Emirates, it's quite evident that with Oud of Dubai, they've tried to be more contemporary. You can see that in the scent itself, but it's more evident in the design of this bottle. This is actually inspired by the windows of Dubai's Museum of the Future. So there's this calligraphy like thing that you will see on the design which is actually how the Dubai's Museum of the Future looks like as well. The calligraphy on this bottle and even Dubai's Museum of the Future are actually based on a, a few lines that were given by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. Looks actually pretty elegant with that gold uh, on black but what does it smell like? The main mention notes are oud, patchouli, tobacco and vanilla. So you kind of know what to expect with this scent. This one actually is my pick between the two. Uh, I enjoy this slightly more than the other one. Not because it's a safer option, but it's a nice, a brighter, sweeter, uh, almost edible take on a tobacco scent. The first sniff actually uh, knocked me off it's a strong sweet tobacco um, not as sweet as like a Tom Ford's tobacco like by Killing's tobacco but it is pretty strong and sweet my eyes are watering I then get a, a nice cherry liqueur like feel a uh, very gourmand you know bittersweet but still delicious that actually adds to the that sophistication to that tobacco a bit later that Middle Easternness, uh, if I could say that uh, comes in in the form of spice and oud. Uh, I also get like a tonka in the dry down and that could easily be like the vanilla uh, pairing up with uh, one of the other notes. That's actually very nice because it gives a lot richer, creamier feel to that earthy patchouli that you find in the dry down. This again I'm guessing will be a banger for the winters. I've tried using it at work and it works well but I, I know that this one will do much better in colder weathers. So yeah, that's just my quick take on these two scents. I can't wait for the winters to sort of, you know, try them in all their glory. Uh, they are available for around 420 dirhams and at that price you're expecting niche quality and you definitely get it with these two scents. I believe they're only available in the UAE at the moment, but I think that they will soon be shipping worldwide. I've left all uh, the information you need in the description below, their Instagram page, the stores that they are available in, so all your questions will be answered there. Um, and I think that's about it for now. Uh, thanks for liking, sharing and subscribing. If you haven't done it yet, this is the best time to do it. Until next time, keep smelling amazing.